OK, so in this problem, we've got a sledge of mass 20 kilos is pulled up a slope inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal by a rope inclined at 10 degrees to the slope. So that's the situation that we have, OK? The slope is at 20 degrees, but the object, the sledge, is being... So if you're carrying like a sl pulling a sledge up, OK, you're going to be pulling it parallel to the slope, OK, necessarily. So you're going to be pulling it up at a slight angle, uh, that is parallel to the slope, uh, sorry, inclined at 10 degrees to the slope. A constant frictional force of 15 newtons acts on the sledge. Uh, find the tension in the rope when uh, the slope moves up the slope with constant speed and the sledge accelerates up the slope at 0.8 metres per second per second. OK, let's draw on what we know. OK, so we've got this uh, mass of 20 kilos. So 20g working vertically downwards. So here's my triangle. That will be 20g sine 20. So that's 20 degrees there. And 20g cosine 20 there. OK. Now I've got this frictional force um, of 15 newtons. So 15 newtons working in that direction. I've got the normal reaction force, R. I've got this tension in the rope. OK. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to split that up its, into its component parts as well. So what I've got here is a parallel and perpendicular to the slope. So this adjacent side will be T cosine 10 degrees, and the opposite side will be T sine 10 degrees. OK? So that is the picture as it stands. Right, so um, let's first look at the slope moves up the slope with constant speed. OK, so we are going to resolve this parallel to the plane. I'm going to take the direction of motion as positive. So I've got this t cos 10. OK. That's the component of the tension working up the slope. I've got the 15 newtons working against us. But that's not all. I've also got the weight working against us, the 20g sine 20. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Well, the acceleration is zero in this case, OK, because we're at constant speed. So that means that if I add the 15 and the 20g sine 20 to the right-hand side and then divide by cos 10, I will have the tension. So 15 plus 20 lots of 9.8 times sine of 20, so I'm going to take g as 9.8, that gets me 82.0359. OK, that's moving the 15 and the 20g sine 20 over to the right-hand side. Now divide both sides by the cos 10. And I get 83.3. So 83 newtons to two significant figures. OK, that's the tension. So now, so if that's A, for B... I'm going to resolve this parallel to the plane again. But I've got exactly the same forces working. So I've got the 10 cos 10, the t cos 10, take away the 15, take away the 20g sine 20. The only difference is that now that that's equal to the mass, 20, times by the acceleration, uh, which is 0.8. So I've got the 20 lots of 0.8, so 16. I'm going to add on the 15 and the 20 times 9.8 times sine of 20. So that gets me 98.03. Then I'm going to divide by the cos 10. And we get 99.548. So it would be 100 newtons to two significant figures. OK? Um, so you can see that the tension 
um, is having to increase in order uh, to be accelerating up the slope at 0.8 metres per second per second. Okay? This, uh, however much you're pulling that rope, has got to exceed the um, frictional force and the weight that's working against it.